he was, the, talk, he was the little helpmate. They're talking about uh, rebooting it. Really? Starting the show over again. Because, you know, uh, L, L and them tried to come and do a Who's the Boss. Oh, really? I mean, you might well say it was like that when he was the little, when uh, your girl Debbie, um, Felicia Rashad's sister, Debbie Allen, uh -huh. was the mama, uh -huh. and uh, L, L Cool J was like the little housekeeper, and, um, you know, she had the little two kids. So I think that was like a little remake of Who's the Boss. Well, there's a, a talk of a, a who's the boss. With who? Who's going to be the boss this time? Because it ain't going to be Tony Danza. I think it's going to be uh, mainly uh, Tony Danza and... Uh, he is old! The little girl, what's the little girl's name? Uh, Alyssa Milano. It's, he is old. He sounds like he's been smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you won't be looking at that one. Here's the one you might be looking at. There's a new show coming on called The Next. Marijuana Millionaire. Whoa! It's uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, one of those NBC, MSNBC shows where they, uh, you know, they show people how to make money, mm -hmm. and uh, the people are going to be selling cannabis. Mm. So who? Okay. Who, what who, channel? Yeah, uh, I don't know what channel it's on. I gotta look. Okay. Do it come on Roku. That's how I want to know. Is it Roku? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be Roku. Uh, Jason Monet, you know, uh, uh, Monet, uh, the guy who played Aquaman, he's married to Lisa Bonet. Oh, I was just gonna say, now that name sounds familiar, Lisa Bonet. She's kind of cuckoo, too. Yeah, well, there is a, a video on YouTube. I'm gonna check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, she had an old 1965 Mustang. Mm -hmm. That was her first car ever, in, and uh, she said it was her first love. He took the car from her without her knowing and had it redone. Did she get pissed? No, I mean, it's, oh. it's like a brand new car. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, you know, it had rust spots and it had all kinds of yeah. stuff on it. And he fixed the car up uh, because he knew she loved the car. Oh, he up he upgraded it. Yeah. Man, sometimes we want a little rust on there. We want a, something to remind us of uh, of the old car. That's cool. Yeah. Lisa Bonet, man, she was... If I'm talking about the right person, that's the girl from uh, uh, Cosby, Cosby show. show, right? Yeah. Because last time I seen the show, with them long braids with them big old eyes, looking yeah. crazy, yeah. like she ain't eating. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, them Olsen twins. Like she ain't eating. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, this is the news. Uh, one of your favorite people that you're going to love. Did you know that Tiffany Haddish is now partnered up with Common. They're a couple. So they're dating, dating. They're a couple. Didn't she shave her head? No. <laughs> I didn't see it in these pictures that I looked at. She has a bald head. Okay, if you say so. I no, know. for real though. She got a bald head now. And um, well, Maybe Common, they, they could both be bald together. I <laughs> thought she did. I thought it was a joke at first. Uh -huh. um, because, now I don't know how it's going to look when it starts to grow. Uh, Cause I know I remember when Tamar did it, and I didn't think that uh, uh, I didn't think that she was all that cute with it. But uh, Tiffany shaved her head bald, hmm. so I, I wonder did she do it in the name of Common? I'll have to look it up. I, I didn't. See yeah, I can't believe you didn't see that. Yeah, she said the head bald, and she's not it. a. But you know, a black woman can just buy a wig tomorrow. And, and yeah, uh, but, but <laughs> since she said that she was dating Common, it sounds like that he pumped her up. Could like be. that, I bet you ain't do. I bet you ain't gonna do it. I bet you will. You know, they think they probably got that kind of relationship. <laughs> That's good for her because I ain't know who would date her. Yeah, common. Common. She's dating common. Common. Okay, I like that. I like. I like. Uh... Now look, don't get me wrong. I like Tiffany Haddish. I don't think she's funny. You see what I'm saying? I think I can do what she does better. You see what I'm saying? And get the money. So I'm not knocking her. She's just not funny to me. She don't make me laugh. That's it. Okay. Well, I thought I, I'm disappointed. I thought I was going to get y'all riled up with Common and, and Tiffany had it. No, 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 no. That's no. why I saved it for last. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no, I like them to, uh, I actually, because I didn't really know no one who, 
Because she she doesn't come off as uh, a sex appeal or anything. Like she ain't like fine or nothing. She she ever did no like crazy surgeries or nothing like that to make her stand out like the other people. And so I just didn't really see anyone that would just be on her radar like that. So with Tiffany Haddish, she the kind of person you got to get to know her. Uh, again, she's not funny on movies and stuff, but she probably funny to hang around. You know what I'm saying? And she probably talk a lot of noise and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, well, she from the hood, so yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably <laughs> cool like that, just like um, who else? Mike Epps. He ain't funny in movies to me. I think he do too much, but in comedy, oh my gosh, I laugh to no breath. Uh, Steve Harvey. He's not funny. He's smart, though. Very smart. Funny? No. Dia right. Hughley. No, okay. There we go. We got a list. <laughs> I'll go down the list. We got a list of comments. They'll be like, uh, Shabanda with a B. Uh, that are not funny. Shabanda with a B. I'm going to post that on Facebook so they can come look at you. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, good luck to Tiffany Haddish. I'm glad. Um, she doesn't have any children or anything. I don't, uh, I don't believe I don't so. so. So that's good. Yeah. So her and it ain't just for her money either. Because he got his own money. Yes, so he does. That's, that's good. Yes, he does. All right. Well, new couple, new hot couple, Tiffany Haddish and Common. And Common. All right. Well, look, we're going to wrap things up here. And uh, I have a uh, uh, an announcement to make. Uh, because of some health issues that I'm having, uh, my doctor's got me on lockdown because I shouldn't be here today, but uh, I'm going to my mad as soon as we get through. <laughs> but um, I'm extremely prone to the uh, coronavirus, mm-hmm. uh, so he doesn't want me out there. He wants me in the house. He said I can get out and you know do a little exercise, be with my family, go to the grocery store. But uh, you know there was a party I was going to for uh, for our girl. Uh, with Cheryl Smith on uh, Saturday night. And uh, when I saw the doctor last week, uh, I said, well, I want to go to a party Saturday night. Is that okay? He said, no. Mm-hmm. You, you, you don't need to go no place because, you know, you can easily get it. So I'm going to have to stay home. I'm going to have to stay home for uh, the foreseeable future. And that's why I was asking TJ so many questions about it. About uh, uh, what what to do? What? Like, yeah, you know when you you know you kind of home and you're kind of upset, but uh, she's right. Uh, this will pass. My illness will pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know I'm taking medicine. It's a matter of time. They're gonna keep testing me, and uh, I get all these fun. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but oh wow, is that from yeah. a needle or something? I get blood taken all the time. Oh and I get lord. Cat scans and all kind of fun stuff. So, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave this to you. This is now the Shavonda with a V show. All right. That's exciting. I just got chills when I heard that, man. <laughs> wow. Long time coming. Long time coming. I'm so excited. You're ready? I, I know for the longest you wanted your I own am excited. I, you know what? I am excited and nervous at the same Can y'all believe I'm nervous as, 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 oh, um, <laughs> as crunk as I am? I get a little nervous sometimes. Um, I'm actually a little shy sometimes. People don't know it, but I do. And um, sometimes I can be a little, um, I second guess myself on stuff and I don't just smash the gas all the time. And um, I've really been talking about this and like, oh, I'm going to start it now. I'm going to start it then. But I'm like, yeah, what's stopping me from starting? And um, when when Hollywood came to me about uh, you know what's happening, and I was like, wow, this is the time, you know, this is the time. It's like either I'm a sink or swim. You're gonna do it now or never. <laughs> so I'm ready. It's gonna be so different. I, I can't even imagine doing it without you. But um, that's crazy. Well, I I wish you all the luck in the world. You've been the just the best partner I've ever had in radio. Aww, um, and I've been, so I've, I've been with some big ones. I've been with some big ones, girl. 
Let me tell you, I've been with all the big stars. But, but you know, you're the one that, that uh, keeps me smiling, keeps me laughing, Aww. and uh, always motivates me. And uh, I have to control you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not hard, not yeah. hard. I, I bounce back pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to leave the uh, show in your capable hands. Wow. Well, I'm excited. Thanks for handing over the torch. Um, I've learned so much from you, just even watching your whole poise and how you handle the guests and just how much everybody loves you and just love coming around. And um, I'm like, man, how am I doing without Hollywood? I'm going to have to find a way. But I've learned so much from you, and I wouldn't have chosen to even start this journey with anybody else. I mean, we, we was meant to be. It's meant to be together, and that's just from even the time we met, just at events. We, we've been through uh, a lot. Hanging out, we have. So we, we've been through a lot. Um, we definitely gonna still see each other around. Oh, definitely, definitely. All that. You come by the house, I'll be sitting outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you have to send me the address or just, something. Just uh, stay, I can wave. Just stay uh, six feet away. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be in the, the garage. Hey. <laughs> I'll send my grandkids with a message. Hey, I'll be in my garage too. <laughs> that's my little high. That's my little duck out spot. That's my little boom boom. <laughs> All right, Miss Shabanda, well, I'll leave it in your capable hands, and uh, we're going to say goodbye. All right, y'all. That's it for the Hollywood show. It's a Shabanda with a V show, baby. Get ready, y'all. She done took it. It's going down. <laughs> she done taken over. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>